So, you opened up YouTube and saw a kid say skibbity and now you're sad. There's no joke, that's just what happened to me about five minutes ago. Hey guys, I'm about to talk about Kai and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make these cool stars in Blender. So, the first thing I want to do is we're going to go ahead and slide this big panel on over over here. Put your cursor in the top left hand corner until your cursor turns into a plus and then just drag and then it'll just split it into two. Hit this little button up here and go to the shader editor. Now, ignore this. This is for something else uh, that I'm doing. We're going to change this up here to the top. It's going it's, to change this from object to world. And we're going to zoom back in here. Now, you can see this is what we have. Now, by default, you'll just have you'll have these two nodes here. So this is what it'll look like when you first open it up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of new things here. So the first thing we're going to add is we're going to add in a Voronoi uh, texture. So we're going to hit Shift A and we're going to search for Voronoi like that. Boom. Put that bad boy right there. Um, and that is going to be hooked up into a map range node, which is Shift A, search. Um, and then we hit uh, map range right there. So once again, just hit shift and A on your keyboard search and then boom It's right there. Just grab that bad boy put it right there Boom and we're gonna plug the distance into the value of the map range and a couple things we're gonna change with the Verano texture We're gonna we're gonna bump this up to 300. So basically what we're doing here is if I were to show you um, We're taking the Voronoi texture and we're gonna plug that into the strength and as you can see the first thing it's gonna do is it creates these these big uh, these sorry these small little uh, these small little dots right, which is why we have this on 300 because we if we had it on three obviously the dots would be way bigger so we put it on 300 and boom we get these little tiny microscopic stars now I think the rest of this is all the same it's just 300 0 0.5 to one and one. Um, I did change this from F1 to smooth F1 because by default it looked like this which is not exactly what I wanted I wanted it to be a little bit more you know irregular in some areas you know some more variation. Um, so this is that's that and then for the map range we have the settings on 0 1 0 and 5 and then that we hook that up into the background now uh, Once we've done that I'm gonna go ahead and add in a Second one of the same two we just created so what's we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just hit shift D and Duplicate drag a box over top of both these at shift D duplicate those place them down and boom We have these two bad boys right here now, these settings are all the same. It's the same exact settings for both of these both these boys. Now, we can change them if you want, and I'll show you why in a second. But basically, um, this is just adding some more detail to it. So we'll hook this up in a second. But for now, let's go ahead and add in an add node. Because what we need to do is obviously the sky is not, you know, um, white and the stars aren't black. So let's fix that. Let's go ahead and add in a color ramp node. Let's do this one first, actually. So we're going to hit Shift A, and we're going to search or a color ramp node right there, boom. And we're gonna place this bad boy in between the Veronoi and the map range nodes and the background and world output, of course. Right there, boom, drop that bad boy in. Now, um, this by default will be like this. And by default, it will look like this. What we need to do is we need to flip these, so put the white on the left and the black on the right. So now once we do that, you can see instantly we have these really super bright white stars, which is like kind of hard to look at. It's kind of like, whoa, what's going on around here? How'd that happen? Who turned up the brightness? Don't know what's going on around here. Um, but we can fix that super easy by plopping uh, this add node right here. Just go skadoosh right there. Perfect. Lovely. Absolutely amazing. And with this add node, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cook, hook up these two Veronoi and map range nodes that we had down here. Plug the result into the bottom of the thing right there and now you can see what this does is it it, it takes the uh, it takes some of the edge off so if i again if i hook that up there boom super bright crazy brightness and then if we hook this up you can see already well, even without the other uh verano eye texture um it's already less but if we hook this one up boom they get brighter and we can also do this thing where we we can change the scale we can have you know them be a little bit more spaced out if you want we can do let's do 200 you gotta be a little more spaced out or you can go with the 300 and just completely unhook this and then just have it be like this because you know it's already nice but if you wanted them to be a little bit more spaced out my recommendation would be you could change this up here as well you can change these but if you if you notice this doesn't really make them like less frequent it only makes them bigger so if i was to do like 10 you see this the stars just get bigger so i recommend leaving this on 300 and then hooking hooking this bad boy up the second one down here and then just changing the scale of this to make them more infrequent so you can see it just it, it reduces like it gets rid of a lot of the um the stars in the sky so if you didn't want that many stars and you only wanted a few clusters here and there then do that i think i would go maybe 200 if you want like more inconsistent stars but if you want it to be exactly the same just go ahead and 
unhook that bad boy and then you have these so these this these two down here are kind of optional just in case you want to change the frequency of them but um yeah so after that we have one more thing i want to do and right before sorry right after the color ramp i'm going to go ahead and plop in a multiply node which is a shift a on your keyboard it's shift and a search for a math node you can't search for multiply you have to search for math and then change it from add to multiply you could also go ahead and grab the node we have up here hit shift d and then just change this from add to multiply that's another way to do it obviously let's go ahead and do that and then just throw that bad boy right there boom and as you can see instantly it let, makes the stars a little less bright and the way we can control this to make them even less bright is by turning down the value here so you can make them uh, just super faint like that you can leave them on 0.5 which is what i recommend or you can just bump them up like crazy and make them super bright like this is star trek and you're about to shout into the distance this is crazy like you know it's just wild but um but yeah i recommend keeping it on 0.5 looks very nice and you can always change it and turn it down a little bit if you want to of course um, but that is our stars right there. Those are our stars, ladies and gentlemen. So if you zoom in, you can zoom in as much as you want, and they will not get bigger or smaller because they are, you know, it's part of the sky. That is just how it is. But if you do have a camera, go to the camera's view and zoom in. You can obviously zoom in on the camera, but that is not the same, of course. Now, the only other thing that's missing is a, uh, is a planet. So you can make that easily, and I'll be doing that in, in a different tutorial. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. But until then... Bye-bye.